Hello, Libra. Rambler Mike here. Gonna play some tarot cards with you today. Thanks for stopping by one more time, my friends. I want to also thank you for all of your likes and all of your subscribes. Also, thank you for all of your fun, amazing comments. I love them all. I read them all. I do my best to respond back to all of them. Thank you, my friends. Uh, also, all your donations. Thank you, my friends. Bless me. Bless me regularly. Thank you. And, uh, of course, I want to thank all my Libra friends that reached out for personal, private readings. Thank you so very much for that. It's always a blessing to get to know each and every one of you personally like that. Also, my apologies for all of my Libra friends that reached out and I was not able to contact with you, uh, make a connection with you this time. Um, like I say, I apologize for that. And I thank you for your patience and your understanding. If you want a reading, all that information is down below on how to contact me. These uh, readings will be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for the month of August 2018, first half, love and relationships. Relationships of all kinds, huh? Homework, family. Hmm? You find where you're at in the story, see if it fits. Because those of us that know and love the tarot have learned that if these generals uh, resonate with you, to run with them. And if they don't, throw it out. Also, my cross watchers, you're absolutely welcome here. And I do want to remind you that even though I will be saying Libra a lot, these may very well read out from your perspective, my friends. Hey, with all that being said, let's play some tarot cards here, huh? I'll go with this right here. Let's tune in here. Hey, tarot, hey, love team. Libra's here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good in regards to love and relationships. August, first part of the month, 2018. I want to thank you for clarity, accuracy on my part. Help me see and speak what I need. Help Libra uh, see and hear what they need. Let's take all these amazing pictures, put together a nice, accurate story for Libra's highest good. Thank you so very much for that, love team. I cannot do this without you. I appreciate you, my guides. Here we go, Libra, cutting the deck. Libra. First card out right here is Seven of Cups. Hmm. Somebody got a lot of options out there, do they not, my Libra friend? This is water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, of course. You know, Seven of Cups talks about, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> talks about confusion. Talks about confusion because somebody possibly has a lot of options out there. Also talks to me about this fact right here. To know that what you own, owns you. Mm, Libra. See where this goes right here. Well, there it is right there. A little fire sign right here showing up for you, huh, Libra? The Princess of Wands right here. It's fire. It's also Earth. It's uh, Leo, Sagi, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. Probably somebody young. Under 25, huh? Giving uh, these old messages of passion coming in for you. But I'm telling you, um, they got a lot of options, do they not, my uh, my Libra friend right here. But uh, if they've skedaddled for a while, it uh, looks like they're showing back up on Libra. Yeah, right here. Base of the spread. <laughs> well, you've definitely known them for a little while, huh, Libra? This has been going on for a while, as of not. My night of wands right here yeah, is the player card is it not a uh, seven of cups on the board right here a uh, little young fiery energy right here and then we got the great adventurer of the tarot deck right here at the base of your spread on huh, libra 
And that little fire sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, of course, definitely been playing in your world for a while. They come a galloping in, get what they want, get a galloping back out. It's about the story with this uh, card right here, Seven of Cups. And you know what? Here they come again. They are fun, but they are very non-committal. They got a lot of things going on. Recent past. Look at this, huh? Look at this. It's Queen of Cups right here. You know, you may have run into this Queen of Cups right here in the recent past. This is my empath. Didn't this come up for you last time? Yeah, I do believe it did. This is my Queen of Cups. She's my empath. Uh, spiritual. This person's spiritual. Very mature. I mean, this is a totally different energy right here. Hmm? Totally different energy. Yeah. Looks like Libra met or already knows somebody very special, very spiritual. This is a healer. She's a healer. Can heal mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually just by being around this queen or king. Very special, gifted, strong intuition, psychic abilities, the dreamer right here. An amazing catch. If you can catch this one right here, Libra, that's the one right there. This little fire sign right here, it's got lots of options. Well, oh, man, heartbreaker, soul shaker right there. But if this queen right here is in your life, man, this is the one I would be gravitating to. It definitely looks like she definitely showed up in the recent past right here. He or she. Crown your spread right here. Back to the old three of pentacles right here. Is it not? Shows three people in the card right here. This is a... Three of Pentacles is about working on a foundation of something that's important to you. Definitely has three people in the card right there, though, huh? This, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, this uh, fire sign right here may have Earth in their chart. See, there's Earth right here. This, this princess says Earth. All princesses have Earth. Earth and fire for my princess of wands. This Earth sign right here with lots of options. They may be in a full-blown relationship with somebody else. Hmm? Definitely crowning your spread right there, huh? If you didn't know, I mean, forewarned, forearmed, three of pentacles. It definitely shows one person right there working on a foundation all by themselves and two other people right over here working on a foundation of something that's important to both of them together. And it's crowning your spread right here, Libra. Who is this queen of cups right there? Because this is definitely this fire earth sign right here. They are very noncommittal and they are not playing with you right. You know this. Many of my Libra friends know this. This queen right here. This is the catch right here. Yeah. Let's see where this goes right here, Libra. Ah, uh, leaving Libra. Eight of swords right there all up in their head once again. This is not a new energy from this person. Been playing with your spread for a while here, huh, Libra? Let's come out of this energy. This is feeling trapped all up in your head. You know, eight of swords, mental mind fuck right here. Let's come out of this energy right here, Libra. Hmm? This is absolutely your energy. It's air energy. Uh, Libra, uh, Aquarius, um, Gemini, sun, moon, rising. It's definitely your energy right here. Seven of cups right here. Eight of swords. Eight's always talking to me about new beginnings, you know? Not trapped, feeling trapped, <clears throat> excuse me, feeling trapped in this situation right here. Absolutely feeling trapped in this situation right here. The only place that we really are trapped, Libra, is in our thought process. You don't have to put up with this. You don't have to put up with it one minute. It's your call though, you know? If you enjoy Seven of Cups and Eight of Swords right here, non-committal energy with somebody who's probably in a relationship with somebody else, who is this queen right here? Ooh, that's the one I'd be paying attention to right there. Right there. Mm -hmm. Can be all, possibly what you're all up in your head about. 
Hmm? You've been dealing with this fire sign for a while. They're in your distant past right here. They've been coming in and out of your life for a while here. Let's see where the spread goes. Emperor right here. More fire energy, huh? Aries seated in his power. Wow. Whew. Let's take on this energy yourself. You know, this is an energy about being stable and sure and confident within yourself. You know, having been through the battle but no longer in the battle. You know, he's chilling, looking at his world right up there in his hand, you know. Yeah, looking at different options yourself. Hmm? Right here. Can also talk very much about this energy of this person right here. Lines right up with it, you know. <sighs> the old, you know, my way or the highway kind of individual. You know, with that kind of stuff. They getting you all up in your head. I'm like, there's a highway right over there. Peace out. Have a good one. Well, that's just rambling Mike. I want to know who this queen is right here. <laughs> Exterior influence, there we go right there, Libra. There we go right there. The lover's card showed up here for you. This is Gemini. Hmm? Maybe dealing with somebody, you know, sun, moon, rising. This Gemini right here, but this is the lover's card right here. Definitely soulmates. Hmm? And uh, the lover's card, it's got three people in the card right here. Two people and an angel. It's got three peeps. Three. Well, this is about making choices between lovers, is it not, my Libra friend? Yeah, I've seen it the whole time right here. This queen, that's my vote. This little fire sign right here that's causing a lot of problems. Seven of cups, three of pentacles right here. My way or the highway. Oh, man, got you all up in your head regularly right here. Wow, man, because they come in with just, you know, passion. Ooh, hi, ooh. Good night, Irene. Lover's card right there. Making choices between lovers right now during the next two weeks of August right here. Yes, sir. Sandwiched in between these eclipses right here. We just had an eclipse on the 28th, and we got one coming in on the 11th right here. Wow. Powerful, powerful stuff. Here we go. <laughs> Libra right here. Hopes or fears, you know. It is a major arcana. It is justice. It is Libra. The weighted scales of karmic balance. Hmm? Yeah. Maybe ready to just drop that sword, huh? Definitely making a choice in lovers and what you're going to do, Libra. It is your call, no doubt about it. You got two right here. A young little fire sign that causes problems. Got some attitude problems. Put you all up in your head regularly. And this queen right over here. This isn't a challenging choice to me, huh? Libra, right there. Mm. Justice. Libra wants justice in this situation. Wow, powerful. Outcome right here. Ba -ba! Chariot card right here. Love it. It's major arcana, major life force card. It is cancer. Sagittarius may mean something to you, may not. It is a card of victory right here. It is a card of travel. You know, if this queen lives at a distance from you, I see you getting in your car and going seeing this queen right here. Mm hmm Because this is water. Cancer, this is water, possibly cancer right here. Sun, moon, rising, of course. You know, outcome right here is the chariot. Stepping out of your comfort zone, Libra. You've been splashing through the emotions of life here for a while. Driving your chariot exactly where you want it to go. Where do you want it to go? I bet you want it to go to this queen's house right here. That's where you want your chariot to go. Right there. <laughs> You know, got tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the divine. You can see that charioteer right there. He's all lit up. Yeah, movement, movement, forward. Looks like you're going to drop the axe on this, uh, this player right here. 
Uh-huh. Oh, man. Five of swords right here. You know, the weather over the entire spread. This is manipulation, control, narcissistic activities. Good night, Irene. Man, this is not a challenging decision to make at all. Got you all up in your head, you know. Five of swords right there. Definitely talks about um, somebody who laid in wait for these two people back here and uh, stole their swords from them. Was prepared for the battle. They got the armor on. They were prepared for the battle. They came in, stole all their swords from them right there. And got that little pompous look on their face like, ha, huh, you get what you get? Oh, good night. Yeah, and this card right here, you know, if you have, you know, this kind of situation in your life, either where you're in the front of the card or the back of the card, I myself choose to be up in the front of the card. Thank you very much. I don't need swords because I attempt to walk in love. But that don't mean you get to come in here and do all this, run all this all up on me. That ain't happening. Not with Ramblin' Mikey. Thank you very much. You know, because love should be like breathing. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. It should be easy. Love should be easy. And it was not easy. If it's painful, well, we go to the doctor and get that fixed up, huh? It was not easy. If it's painful, you set these people in the back of the card right there. If you got it's just somebody being childish and foolish with you, what do we do with unruly children? We put them in the timeout chair. Time out for you. You don't know how to love me right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see Libra putting somebody in a time out chair because they ain't been loving on them right. Gonna go chase this queen of love right here. Ooh. All up in your head. Nine of swords right there. Sleepless nights, the wringing of the hands, the woulda's, the kudos, the shoulda's. And by Mike, you know he's going to tell you, Libra. Let it go. Go to sleep. Get in your chariot. Go see your queen right here. Hmm? Why? It's the wheel of fortunes right here, my friend. Yeah. The wheel of destiny. The wheel of fortune spinning in an upward direction for you, my friend. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, destiny is connected right here with this queen of love. Wow. What a great catch right there. Uh, the wheel, you know, always talks about, you know, the wheel goes around and around. Sometimes it goes down. Sometimes it comes up. Definitely coming up for you right now. Pay attention. Let this stuff go, you know. Let it go. That makes the wheel go. We make the wheel go up and down. Mm-hmm. It has all four fixed zodiacs on it. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. All represented by this card right here. This card is Jupiter, the planet of expansion, the planet of good luck. You know, Sagittarius as well. Because it's connected to Jupiter, affiliated with Sagittarius. Wheel of Fortune coming in here for you, my friends. Coming in here for you. Wow. <laughs> that queen now there's no comparison between that queen and that little player right there no comparison at all <laughs> my way or the highway yeah uh-uh <laughs> looks to me like libra be like well i'm getting in my car i'm gonna do the highway right here no my queen's at peace out <laughs> it's really what i see right here look what one to jump out right here express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture right here now miss queen's probably waiting for you libra to tell them mm -hmm. express your love look at that go ahead and make the romantic gesture well that's just clear to me come on come on romance angels more for libra right here there you go, separation right here. I'm telling you, this is a story right here. It's a very common thread that's happening right now with these eclipses. Eclipses will eclipse people out of our lives and eclipse people into our lives. So hopefully eclipsing the negative low vibration out and hopefully eclipsing in the high vibration, divine connection right here. Separation, hmm? time apart is on the horizon. I see that right here. Yeah, with that justice card right there. And uh, uh, Libra heading towards victory right over here. Water. Yep. One more right here to go and express your love, huh? 
Yeah. Now let's make that trip worthwhile, Libra. Here we go. A religious factors right here. It's going to be a challenging card. I mean, who you connecting with right here, you know? This one right here, Libra. When you got religious factors right there, you know, there could be an age difference here. It can be a cultural difference, can be a racial difference, spiritual difference, religious difference, all of them combined. Makes it all the more fun, huh, to uh, put this kind of situation together. You, normally those religious factors show up on these divine relationships. I don't know why that is. It just seems to show up that way regularly on uh, my table. Here we go. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Wow. Powerful spread for you, my friend. Uh, yeah, express your love. Tell them. Tell that queen right there. Tell that queen right there. Leave, leave, leave this little player alone. Man, get your wheel of fortune right there. Get your sleep. No more five of swords. No more my way of the highway. I'm definitely playing with some kind of narcissist right here. If you ask me, I mean, I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm just a tarot card reader. But these tarot cards, they say narcissists are screaming it. Libra, love yourself first, huh? You got somebody else that you know right there. Yeah. Hey, uh, tarot, love team, one major for Libra. Thank you right there. Oh, huh. there it is right there. Tower. Mm -hmm. Separation right there. Tower. You know, sudden change definitely shows the lovers falling from the tower right there. And, you know, the lightning bolt striking the tower. That's, you know, from the divine. If tower moment come, you know, what it really meant is if, if, if source had to come in and strike this tower right here with these eclipses, um, it really meant that it went on way, 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 way too long. I mean, you already know that. Hmm. Tower card for you. You know, tower's a blessing in disguise. Clears the... The playing field, you know, shows us what we do want. Because we definitely know what we don't want. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. Tower card. <laughs> it's really nothing to be hangman about, my friend. Hangman off the bottom. Um, hangman, he, uh, he in the hangman's tree right there. He hung by his foot, not by his neck, so he's not tormented in any way, shape, or form. But, you know, many times we hang ourselves in the hangman's tree trying to obtain something sacrificially. Hmm? I would say it's not working. But hangman, while he's there, you know, has that halo around his head, getting a new perspective. I hope this tarot spread gives you a new perspective. Huh? Wheel of Fortune wants to come in for you, my friend. Who's this queen right here? We know who the player is, do we not? Libra, hope you enjoyed this reading. Hope you got something out of it. Namaste, my friends. Love and light. I'll be talking to you soon, Libra. Bye for now.